watch a little video here and I'll show you how Steven Anderson gets his information and how he conveniently leaves out certain facts. Let's watch this video of him. Tel Aviv was just recently named the number one destination for homos in the world. Number one vacation spot for homos to go and have a good time, Tel Aviv. Not San Francisco, not Las Vegas, Nevada, not Atlantic City, New Jersey, but no, uh, Tel Aviv, number one destination for queers and sodomites. So it's no wonder that the Bible called them a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah when they just declare that filthy sin so openly and have no shame about it and just tolerate it and it's, it's considered normal to them. Okay, first of all, the Bible term is sodomite. Not queer, not homo, sodomite. So get your terms straight there, Anderson. But secondly, he says, you know, well, it's Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is the number one, you know, uh, gay holiday place or whatever. Well, that's kind of interesting because I went to Google and I lo looked up the number one vacation spot for Sodom, well, not Sodomites because they wouldn't say that, but homosexuals or gay people or whatever. Here I have one... Um, independent.co.uk and uh, gay friendly travel destinations the world's top 10 and this is October of 2014 that they said this Copenhagen Denmark is number one number two New Zealand number three you have Toronto Canada number four Palm Springs US number five Sitges Spain number six Berlin Germany number seven Skiathos and Mykonos Greece number eight New York City Number nine, Reykjavik, Iceland. And number 10, Montevideo, Uruguay. So there you have the top 10 according to the Independent there in the United Kingdom. Here you have Advocate.com, the top 20. And these are just, you know, going through. I'm not specifically looking for ones that leave out Tel Aviv. I mean, we're talking, go to Google, type in this search. These are some of the top related finds. Top 20. Uh, gay travel destinations of 2013. This is uh, September um, 11th of 2012 is when this was written. Number 20, you have Miami. Number 19, Cape Town. Number, e number 18, Rome. I can believe that. Number 11, Mexico City. Number 16, Berlin. 15, Sao Paulo. 14, Barcelona. 13, Melbourne. 12, Hong Kong. 11, Las Vegas. Number 10, Los Angeles. Number 9, Amsterdam. Number 8, Tokyo. Number 7, Buenos Aires. Number 6, Paris. Number 5, San Francisco. Number 4, London. Number 3, Sydney, Australia. Number 2, Rio de Janeiro. And number 1, New York City. So that's just two of the top results there on Google. Now there is an article that does talk about Tel Aviv being a very big popular place. But you have to look for the article. You see in with all these other ones, they're talking about all these great places for sodomites to go, and they're not even mention, mentioning Tel Aviv. And again, what's the philosophy behind this? The philosophy is that Israel has to be a wonderful place where everybody's saved and everybody believes in Jesus Christ and just they're holy and righteous and pure to be God's chosen nation. Even though, if that was true, what would be the purpose in the time of Jacob's trouble? Why would God out pour, or pour out his wrath upon the nation of Israel to correct it one last time? Why would God do that if they were all believing people right now? See, Stephen Anderson is just willfully ignorant of Scripture. I don't, he's not ignorant of Scripture. Okay? He knows what the Bible says. He knows he gives the arguments for Bible-believing Christians like myself, the things that we know to be true. Anderson understands it and twists Scriptures to get away from it. But just to show you the, the level of research that Anderson does, okay, he just comes out, he lied, and said that Tel Aviv is the number one, you know, gay destination, tourist place, and whatever else. And, you know, according to one study that I could find, all the other studies don't agree with it. But now let's, let's watch and see how, you know, he sets up the straw man, he says Tel Aviv's the number one, and then he comes back later and he says now that we've proved it. Watch this. We've seen the evidence that Tel Aviv is considered the number one tourist place for homos to take their vacations. We've seen the... Okay, he said, we've seen the evidence that Tel Aviv is the number one place, you know, for homos or whatever. 
Uh, I didn't see any evidence. He just simply said recently that, that uh, Tel Aviv was named or whatever. He didn't show the article. He didn't show any evidence. I showed you. Weird, huh?